Hey guys, you're Marta Geek. In this video, I'm going to share with you guys how to do the PlayStation 4 Remote Play feature with your Windows PC or Mac. Thanks to the latest update, 3.50, we have the ability to remote play your games from a PC or a Mac, which is awesome. So the first thing you want to do is, of course, update your PlayStation 4. Make sure you, you have the 3.50 update. And then we want to go ahead here to this URL, which I'm going to leave in the descriptions. And just hit it, and it's going to take you to this website right here. Uh, from here, if you have a Windows PC, you're going to hit it here. If you have a Mac, you're going to hit this button right here. Then it's going to download whatever file. And the file is very, very small. It's like uh, 16 or maybe less than 20 megabytes. Um, then you're going to go to your PlayStation 4 if you haven't, if you never played a remote play uh, before on your PlayStation Vita and this is the first time you're going to try it, you want to go ahead here and go to settings, go to remote play connections, and then select the checkbox that says enable remote play. Make sure you do that. Then you're going to go right there in settings, go to network and account management and activate your PlayStation 4. Make sure it's activated as your primary. All you got to do is hit the little button that says activate and it's going to sync with the internet and it's going to tell you like a message after it says your PlayStation 4 has been activated. That's it. So it's very, very easy. Make sure, of course, you have to be connected to the internet for this to work. Uh, then the other thing you're going to do right here is uh, make sure your PlayStation 4 is in rest mode uh, when you turn it off instead of turning it off completely make sure it's in rest mode uh, of course you go always go to settings power saving settings set features available in rest mode uh, make sure you do that as well i think there's a check mark there that says stay connected to the internet it says here then select the check boxes that says stay connected to the internet and enable turning on playstation 4 from network make sure these two are um check marked that's like a little switch make sure they are check marked after that if you've done remote play before on your vita you really don't have to do this uh, this is just if, if, if it's the first time you're doing remote play after that you're ready to go um, the minimum requirement for this is very very easy uh, these are the minimum requirements that you need, you know, 8, 8, Windows 8.1, 32 or 64, 10, 32 or 64, i5, 560 M, which is mobile, um, 2.60 or faster, uh, 100 megabytes of storage available, only 2 gigabytes of RAM or more, uh, at, least, at least 720 or more, 1024, 10, 768 or higher sound card, USB port, and that's it. Same thing here with the Mac. You know, almost every Mac is gonna be able to run this and almost every PC is gonna be able to run this. And other than that, now let's go ahead and show you guys how it actually works. Okay, so now let's go ahead and start playing the PlayStation 4 on the PC. Here I'm using the Mac. Uh, make sure you look for the application that you install right there. It says PlayStation 4 Remote Play. Go ahead and hit it. Uh, make sure, of course, you have to be connected to the internet. Your PlayStation 4 also needs to be connected to the internet. Um, it is recommended that your PlayStation 4 is uh, wired. Uh, that's how I have it. And it's also recommended that you have at least five down and five up. That's what it says on the requirements. I really don't have like a perfect five up, but it still works. Um, then once you open it up, like you see here, it says use this computer to enjoy your PlayStation 4 while you're away. Connect your uh, DualShock 4 wireless controller USB, via USB cable. Uh, and then before you start playing, let's go ahead to settings of, of this app. Uh, Mac would be right here. Hit right there. And then you're going to hit the PlayStation Network sign in. Uh, when you first open this app, it's going to automatically ask you for your credentials for PlayStation. It's going to ask you for your email and password. Just enter it. And like you see here, you're going to see it right there, your username. And then you're going to here by default is going to be set to um, 540 on the resolution. Uh, you could change it low. You could change the standard. Or if you have a very, very good connection, you could leave it at 720p. That's how I'm going to leave it. 
Um, here in frame rate, same thing. If you have a very good connection, you could put it in high. If you want a, uh, if you have a normal connection, you know, you got one wireless and your computer is wireless or something like that, or your PlayStation 4 is wireless, I recommend leaving this in standard. Another thing that it says here is that if you leave it in high, uh, the recording feature is going to be paused. So I, I guess you can't record with your PlayStation 4 if you leave this in high. Based on what we see here, that's what it says. And other than that, you're good to go. You don't have to change anything here, and you don't have to change anything here. It's all good, and we're good to go. So now, um, make sure your PlayStation 4 controller is connected via cable, right? Right there. I got it connected to the place, to the PC or to the Mac. Just hit the Start button. And like I said before, your PlayStation 4 needs to be in rest mode. It doesn't matter. It needs to be in rest mode. You need to also activate the the settings that says um, um, let me turn on or mess with my PlayStation 4 via the network. You know, that's what I explained before. And that's it. So after you do hit that, it's going to automatically be searching the Internet for your device. And that's it. Look at that. Very, very good. Right here, you got a couple options here. You can see the battery of your controller. Like you see, it's charging. That's cool. Uh, you can also see the chair button you can see the home button you can see the option button based on your your game your your controller and here you got a there you go an expansion for your window and that's it once you do that the experience here is basically going to be just like uh play on your playstation 4. um here here we are um i really been i was trying it this morning and i didn't feel any lag whatsoever so this is very good uh it's great to having a remote play feature a lot of people ask me why would you want a remote play feature instead of playing your big tv there's a whole bunch of reasons why especially if you are a family man like i am a lot of times you know you don't want to be on the tv all the time and you want your family to enjoy the tv and you know you can lay back and do something else or you could just lay back and use your open up your computer now you see here you can open up your computer and start playing your PlayStation 4 while they change the channel on the TV. That's the same thing I do with the PlayStation Vita. But the great thing here is that you don't need a PlayStation Vita now to do the remote play. And if I'm not mistaken, this will also work if you are on the go. Just make sure you're again. Just make sure your PlayStation 4 is on rest mode. It's on the network. Just make sure you're using the you know, same user ID, if you happen to have more than one user ID, just make sure you have one user ID for both devices. Uh, and that's it. Just make sure you have Wi-Fi. If you are on, uh, for example, on a public network or something like that, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be that good. So I recommend to lower the resolution of your PlayStation 4 of, over here of the settings. And, and make sure you also lower um, the frame rate. Because, like I said, if you are on a... You see there? No lag whatsoever. Look at that. No lag whatsoever. And the audio now sounds incredible, now. too. Yep, go and back. <laughs> you see there? Audio sounds incredible. In um, you will be also able to play... Um, um, look at that. 12 hitting streak. Oh, yeah. Uh, you will also be able to play online multiplayer games. Just make sure your PlayStation 4 is connected to the internet, of course. And that's it. You know, you will be able to play uh, um, multiplayer games on your PlayStation 4 via remote play as well. Just make sure your internet connection is good. Um, I always recommend, I always recommend having the PlayStation 4 connected via wired hardwired from your router to your playstation 4 i always recommend having that um if your router happens to be far i don't know i would i would really try to get a very very long ethernet cable uh, a good quality good quality long internet cable and connect it directly to the playstation 4 remember uh, wireless will never be faster or better than wired so Make sure you do that. After that, 
the the laptop it really doesn't matter if it's connected via cable if it is connected via cable you're gonna have a very better experience you should have a better experience but if it's not it doesn't really matter because on the playstation vita you cannot connect it via ethernet and it works perfectly good i play with my hotspot um anywhere i am and i could turn on my playstation 4 and you know turn it back on as well so it doesn't really matter if you're connected connected to the ethernet using the cable um here of course uh let's say you want to turn off your playstation 4 all you got to do is from right here you could go to power go to rest mode and it's gonna automatically disconnect this from your playstation 4 like you see there the connection to the playstation 4 has been lost um, if you didn't do it, uh, if you did not do this intentional, make sure you hit here and it's going to tell you a couple reasons why it might turned off. Um, you know, another thing, if there's a lot of people like downloading stuff or watching Netflix in your home, uh, that could also affect your internet. So you might want to lower the resolution or, and the frame rate. So make sure you do that as well. And that's it. Other than that, the app closes, you can close the app again. You can also turn it on like you see here when i hit there it will automate i can hear the beep of the playstation 4 going beep and turning on and turning all the fans on and that's it this is awesome i gotta say this is by far one of my favorite updates for the playstation 4 um it's cool it's cool that now you could do remote play video on your computer using the you know the playstation 4 remote uh dualshock 4 controller which is amazing now it does feel like you have a playstation 4 connected to your mac or to your windows pc it feels awesome so guys that's it thanks for watching the video this was again a look at look at that it was automatically there <laughs> so thanks for watching the video guys this is an awesome update and you should try it out like you see there, the specifications are not that demanding. So you can really use this on an old computer, you know, so you're good to go. So here you, like I said, you have, you have, um, you have access to absolutely everything. Oh, shit. <laughs> so here you, of course, you have access to absolutely everything on your PlayStation 4. And the great thing is if you have digital games, um you, it's going to be easy to uh, change between games of course make sure you always have in your playstation 4 whatever disc uh you prefer to play that way you know you can have your favorite game on in a disc and everything else you can access it via you know if it's downloaded like for example um injustice for me is downloaded to the playstation 4 bro force uh, this one this one rocket league as well life is strange you know, all these, I can play with them while I'm on the go because there's no disc for these. So we're good. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you guys, this uh, um, hands-on look of the PlayStation 4 remote play feature and how to set it up. Till next time, guys.